Sean Diddy Combs, a name synonymous with success, a name that commanded respect, even awe. Now that name is shrouded in scandal. Federal charges hang over him like a guillotine, sex trafficking, racketeering. These are not accusations one brushes off. Diddy built his fortune on charisma and talent. From bad boy records to Ciroc vodka, his Midas touch turned everything into gold. His empire now teeters on the brink. The charges strike at the heart of his image. The world waits with bated breath. Will Diddy's empire survive? In the American justice system, a fundamental principle stands as a bedrock presumption of innocence. Until proven guilty in a court of law, Diddy, like any other citizen, is afforded this protection. This cornerstone of due process ensures that the burden of proof rests solely on the prosecution. However, the court of public opinion often operates by different rules. Social media erupts with pronouncements of guilt or innocence based on snippets of information and personal biases. The presumption of innocence, while paramount in legal proceedings, can feel like a fragile shield against the onslaught of public scrutiny. Celebrities and legal experts alike have weighed in on Diddy's case. Some, like reality star and lawyer Phaedra Parks, have staunchly defended the presumption of innocence, reminding the public that accusations are not evidence. Others have expressed their shock and concern, careful to avoid prejudging the outcome of the legal process. The charges against Diddy are not to be taken lightly. Sex trafficking is a heinous crime, one that preys on the vulnerable and leaves lasting scars. Racketeering speaks to a pattern of criminal activity, a calculated exploitation of power for personal gain. The indictment alleges a calculated and disturbing abuse of power. If found guilty, Diddy faces a potential life sentence. The severity of the charges reflects the gravity of the accusations against him. The prosecution appears confident, armed with what they claim is substantial evidence to support their case. Diddy's legal team has mounted a vigorous defense, vehemently denying all charges and proclaiming his innocence. They argue that the accusations are baseless, driven by opportunism and a desire to profit from his fame. The legal battle ahead promises to be lengthy and complex. A divided court of public opinion. In the age of social media, news travels at lightning speed and opinions are formed in an instant. Diddy's case has ignited passionate debates across the internet. Public opinion is sharply divided, reflecting the complex nature of the accusations. Some support Diddy, citing his philanthropic endeavors. Others condemn him, expressing outrage at the allegations. The court of public opinion is rarely just, swayed by emotion and biases. A reckoning for Diddy, a reckoning for the industry. Diddy's trial is poised to be one of the most closely watched legal battles in recent memory. The outcome will have profound implications, not only for Diddy's legacy, but for the entertainment industry as a whole. It shines a light on the dark underbelly of an industry often accused of protecting its own, even in the face of disturbing accusations. The Me Too movement has irrevocably shifted the landscape, emboldening survivors to come forward and demanding accountability from powerful figures. Diddy's case, regardless of its outcome, serves as a stark reminder that no one is above the law. The trial will be a test of the justice system, a referendum on how we address allegations of abuse and exploitation, particularly within industries rife with power imbalances. It is a moment of reckoning, both for Diddy and for an industry grappling with its own demons.